What's going on, family? Here we go with another one. Simply God. Let's do it. James 1, 17. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. God, being the eternal holy God, cannot change. All right, he will not go from better to worse, and you cannot think of God of being any less holy than he is now, any less righteous than he is right now, right? God must remain infinitely holy. He must remain fixed forever and unchanging in that holiness. He cannot go from worse to better for the simple reason that God, being absolutely holy, cannot go beyond himself. He cannot be any holier than he is now or go from less good to better. You and I, we can though. Thank God that we can. Because he that is holy, let him be holy still, it says in Revelations 22, 11. And I believe that since we are creatures and capable of mutation upward toward the image of God, we will become holier and wiser and better while the ages roll. Right, but remember that in becoming holier and better and wiser, we will only be moving toward the perfect likeness of God, who is already all wise and good and holy. God cannot become any better than he is. These words that you and I use, holier, wiser, better, we use about ourselves. A man is good man. Another man may be a better man. Right, but you cannot say better <laughs> about God. You just can't do it. Because God is already the apex. He is the fountain. He is the top. There are no degrees in God. There are no degrees in there are degrees in different angels, I suppose. There are certainly degrees in people too, but there are no degrees to God. That is why you cannot apply such words as greater to God. God is not greater. God is great. Greater is a word that is applied to creatures who are trying to be like God. But you cannot say that God is greater because that would put God in a position where he is in competition with someone else who was great. God is simply God. How beautiful, saints. Man, let's pray real quick. There is this wonderful stability in this truth, Lord. And I just thank you for your unchangeable perfection and that we can count on you to be the same today, tomorrow, and forever, Lord. And I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.